and we're underway. Looking at these two men, I don't think there's going to be anything traditional about this one-on-one -on -one matchup. Matches like this rarely end inside the ring, which is what makes them so unpredictable. John Cena is one of WWE's longest tenured veterans, but he's still got plenty left in the tank. I agree with you, Byron. There's a reason they call the guy Big Match John. A uh, big punch. Ouch. We often see a performer promise to raise the stature of the United States or Intercontinental Championship when they win one of those titles. But John Cena followed through when he won the U.S. title in 2015. You ain't kidding, Michael. After conquering Rusev at WrestleMania, John Cena started the U.S. Open Challenge, where any competitor in the locker room could request an impromptu title match every week on Raw. Close line! Well, that'll leave a mark. I'm uh, joining the U.S. Open Challenge conversation you guys started earlier. I thought Cena's bravado would lead to a short United States title reign, but to my surprise, Cena regularly defended the championship for months. Dean Ambrose, Zack Ryder, Cesaro, Kane, Sami Zayn, and so many others took Cena to his limit on a weekly basis, and he beat them all. It took Seth Rollins and, shockingly, Jon Stewart to finally end Cena's Open Challenge at least for a while. Oh, impactful slam! John Cena's WWE career began in 2002, and his first victory was over Y2J Chris Jericho. Cena back then was filled with ruthless aggression. Boom, what impact! Nailed it! Big punch finds its mark. Corey, in the beginning of John Cena's career, the rookie was among the legends of the ring. Cena became U.S. champion, defeated my former broadcast colleague, JBL, at WrestleMania 21 for his first WWE title. We really don't have enough time in this broadcast to talk about all John Cena's remarkable career accomplishments. The man has WrestleMania victories over the likes of The Big Show, Triple H, Shawn Michaels, and that's just the beginning. Oh, nasty impact. What a stomp. Good grief. Well, guys, the referee should have it relatively easy here tonight because, as you know, in a false count anywhere match, anything goes. to argue your take on this match, Michael. When there are no rules to enforce, the official's sole responsibility in a match like this is to simply declare the victor. Yeah, the referee may only have one job, but I'm still willing to bet he finds a way to mess it up. Dominating shoulder tackle. Irish whip. Slam down hard. You gotta believe this one's over. Guys, the most important thing for a superstar to remember in a false Count Anywhere match is that anything goes. And I do mean anything. I hope someone uses you as a weapon, Saxton. All the way crashing down. Beautiful technique. Got it. Michael, that sledgehammer can cause some serious damage. As Byron mentioned, anything goes in this one, which means we're likely to see a liberal use of weaponry here tonight. Yeah, keep in mind, Cole, the fact that there's no disqualification also means that anybody can interfere and there's nothing you can do about it. Fisherman suplex, nice. Boom! <laughs> Root has really thrived on the main roster, guys, but perhaps his most glorious moment came in January of 2018 when he defeated Jinder Mahal in the finals of the tournament to crown a new United States champion. This might be it! Oh, my! What a match! As Michael mentioned, Bobby Roode defeated Jinder Mahal in the grueling finals of the United States Championship Tournament. 
And truth be told, his road to the finals wasn't so easy either. Huh, one of those rare moments, you're right, Saxton. In fact, a lot of people probably predicted that Rude would have faltered against Baron Corbin or Mojo Rawley in the earlier rounds. He's always had great stamina. See if it lasts here. Incredible impact! There he goes, crashing to the floor. Real quick, in case we have any newbies watching, a false count anywhere match means that this contest can literally end anywhere. Simple, right? Even Saxton can understand those rules. Both of these competitors have so much resolve. STF! That has got to be it. Let me tell you, I've seen lesser moves and matches. In describing this match, Corey, you said it can end anywhere, but he breaks out. He's not done just yet, Michael. Drew's got the pump handle hooked. Man, what a slam. We may be looking at our winner here, guys. This could do it! One! That's not gonna do it. There's no way a hold like that is gonna take Cena out. He's going for the pin. And Cena pops the shoulder up. Nice kick out. You know, I'd say the Falls Count Anywhere match was popularized back in the Attitude Era. But before that, I remember Pat Patterson and Sergeant Slaughter's famous 1981 Alley fight, which many consider to be a precursor to Falls Count Anywhere. Oh my goodness, crushing it. Ooh, what impact. Look at this. Dominating cross body. How these superstars are even still in this match is beyond me. Especially given how intense the match has been. by John Cena. Vertical suplex. Nice. These superstars wearing the wounds right now of what has been an absolutely thrilling matchup. Harsh impact. Tell you what, this is one they'll be talking about tomorrow at worker school, that's for sure. Both these superstars appear to be operating on fumes here, guys. Look out, John Cena is measuring. I think this is the beginning of the end, Michael. Let's see that again. Definitely worth a second look. I can't believe this one's still going on, especially after whack. Michael, that gives new meaning to have a seat. Nailed it. Whack. Michael, that gives new meaning to have a seat. Oh, nasty impact. Shows no mercy in that poor chair. It looks like a twisted heap. Boom, what impact. Whoa, Bobby Roode able to avoid damage. Nice. Shoulder tackle.
Both of these superstars looking a little worse for wear right now. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. What a strike. What's he looking to do here? STF is in, STF is in. Wow, I'm just as surprised as you guys are. That is exactly what John Cena needed. Ooh, right to the back. That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. A trip to the local medical facility might be in order after that. These athletes seem to have tried everything in their playbook. Oh, there's more in their arsenal, I promise you that. I don't know what it is, but they'll find it. Oof! What a brutal beating we've seen dished out so far here tonight. And look at the quickness by Cena. Oh my god, oh god, that hurt. Wow, what a leg sweep. Oh, crushing the knee here. Look at this, fist drop. Man. Elbow drop, big time. How are these superstars even still going, guys? I mean, they have to be on fumes right now. Harsh impact. Looking for the finish. If he sticks this, he is done. Looks to me like these superstars are running on fumes right about now. Big move coming. Well, you got to believe this one's over. Victory is on the horizon. Things just went from bad to worse for Bobby Roode. Trying to turn the tables. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Can John Cena take advantage now? Caught him! Uh-oh. Oh, got him up! Got him up! Attitude adjustment! That's what he was looking for, Michael. He's got it. Let's see it once more. Yeah, this match is all but over. John Cena wins! Here's another quick look at some of the highlights. These superstars gave as good as they got, and these fans got their money's worth from the opening bell. He's going to want to make sure he saves every minute of this match for his personal highlight reel, because he was on fire in this one. Business is about to pick up. Uh-oh, this is the confrontation we've all been waiting for. This might be it! Oh, my! There it is! Did you hear that crack? Boom, what impact! Oh, boy, he is rolling. Shane Thorne looking to end this. He always had great stamina. See if it lasts here. Uh -oh. He's got it in! The STF! And there it is, boys. Shane Thorne got the worst end of that stick. John Cena is measuring. 